Today we're learning how to crochet the butterfly stitch. To begin, chain multiplies of 22 plus 13. To start with row 1, skip 3 stitches, so 1, 2, 3, and into our fourth one here make a double crochet. 2, 3, Work a double crochet in the next stitch. Continue working a double crochet in each stitch all across until you reach at the end of the row. Now we are ready for our second row. To start, chain 1 and turn your work. In your first stitch here, as the chain of one, make a single crochet. In the next stitch, make a single crochet again. Continue working a single crochet in every stitch all across the row until you reach at the end. Once you are at the end of your second row, make a single crochet in the third stitch from the beginning. Here. And now we are ready to start row number 3. So chain 1 and turn your work. In your first stitch as a chain of 1 here make a single crochet. Make again a single crochet in the next stitch. Continue working a single crochet in every stitch all across the row until you reach at the end. To start row number 4, chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Turn your work. Skip the first stitch, this one, and in the next one make a double crochet. In the next stitch make a double crochet. Continue working a double crochet in every stitch all across until you reach at the end of the row. To start row number 5, chain 1 and turn your work. Make a single crochet in the first stitch as the chain of 1 and in each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Now we're ready to start with the wings of our first butterfly. So, go to the next stitch and find the back loop. You see, you have two loops, one in front and one uh, in the back of your stitch. So, we need the back loop only. And in here, we're going to make a slip stitch. Make a slip stitch. Chain 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now go back to the same loop, to the same back loop here, and make four treble crochet. One, sorry, okay, one, this is our second one, three, in the same loop, Four, 
And our last one. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to find the first loop. We left it, this one, of the same stitch. And we're going to make a slip stitch here in the front loop of the same stitch. Make a slip stitch. Chain three. One, two, and three. Make two treble crochet in the same loop. One and Make one double crochet in the same loop. Chain three, one, two, and three, and make a slip stitch in the same space here. Now chain three, one, two, and three, and make a double crochet in the same loop. And two treble crochet in the same loop. One. And our second one. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and slip stitch in the same loop. Chain five again, one, two, three, four, and five. Make four treble crochet in the same loop. So this is our first one. Our second one. Our third one. And our last one in the same loop. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and make a slip stitch in the same space again. Now chain one and continue working a single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches. So find the next one here and make a single crochet. Continue working a single crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. I made my 21 single crochet and now it's time to make one more time 
uh, the wings of our second butterfly in the next stitch. Then continue by making a single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches and that's the way you have to continue with uh, row number 5 until you reach at the end and then I'll be back to show you how to close, uh, how to end this row. Once you have finished with your last wings of row number 5, you have to make a single crochet in each of the next 5 stitches. So one, two, three, four, and your last one here. To begin row number six, chain one, turn your work and work a single crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now it's time to work the body and the antennas uh, of our first butterfly. To do that, turn your work and fold the wings of your butterfly in half, like this. Find the next stitch but now we want the double crochet of our previous row and it's our sixth, sixth from uh, the beginning so one, two, three, four, five, six. In this double crochet we have to walk a back post treble so yarn over twice, hold the wings fold and to work a back post treble. Now chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Skip the two stitches of the chain of five, one, two and walk a single crochet in each of the next three. A slip stitch, a slip stitch, sorry. One, two and three. Let's repeat these steps. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Skip the two first stitches and to work a slip stitch in the next three stitches. One, two, and now we have to turn again our work and we have to make a slip stitch in the treble, in the space of our treble crochet here. Work a slip stitch here. Now turn again your work from the opposite side and to work one more back post treble into the same space of our 
double crochet we worked previously. Okay, now turn again your work. And make a single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches. One, two, three, and 21. What you have to do now is to repeat our last steps, which means now it's time to walk the antennas and the body of your next butterfly, then walk a single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches, then again the antennas and the body of your next butterfly, and continue walking like this until you reach at the end of your row. To end with row number 6, walk a single crochet in each of the next 5 stitches. One, two, three, four, and our last one. Five. Now we're gonna begin uh, row number seven. Chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. Skip the first stitch and walk a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two and three. In the next stitch, we are going to walk two double crochet. one and two in the same stitch. Now walk a double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. One, two, three, and 20. In the next stitch walk two double crochet. One and two. Continue by walking one double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches, then two double crochet in the next same stitch, then again 20 double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. Continue like this until you reach at the end of the row. Close this round with a single crochet in each of your last five stitches. One, two, Three, four, and five. Chain one and turn to start row eight. Walk a single crochet in the next stitch, a single crochet in the next again and continue working a single crochet in every stitch all across until you reach at the end of the row. And this was the basic part of this tutorial. Follow the link on the description box below to see how you have to continue because the next butterflies need to be in the middle of your previous two butterflies. So follow the link below 
to see how how you have to walk the next uh, the next rows. I hope to enjoy this tutorial. If you really do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all my new videos and don't forget to put the like button below. See you in my next video. Bye bye.